What? Yeah, how do you like me now, bitch? That was so enchanting. Spectacular. You with the scowl and the puffed out chest, and them dropping like flies in the blink of an eye? Collapsing on their own, becoming delirious? Extraordinary. Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Would you care to give me an interview? Thank you, but I'm already late. Yeah, those guys were rather rude. What's up, buddy? I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat, Mordecai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? I wouldn't know, wasn't Was that? that? His cause of death? His heart? Hmm. Why are you so interested in my father's cause of death? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell. That was an odd reaction. I knew you'd turn up. I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> Stasha loved you in his own way. You look well. Ligia said you found some quack healer. Yes, sir. Some quack. Thank you. You don't recognize me, do you? But do you remember who taught you how to shoot starlings? Uncle Voronin, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I probably wouldn't recognize myself anymore. Go look in on your sister. She's worried. We'll talk at home. Okay. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but for now I don't have time to think things through calmly. Have you written to mother? Yes, but what can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Hmm. Fine, let's get this over with. It's got a rather stern face. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief. I hope not. Damn. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better. Definitely closer to the truth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tell me how you really feel. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you left Olga. 
You gave me hell as usual. <laughs> I believe I'd oh, excuse me. You were wrong. I've come back with two salutars. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> Alright, well... Farewell, father. Am I intruding? What do you want? <laughs> well, what do people come to funerals for? I came to pay my respects to the dead. Did you know? Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Victor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. Hmm. I made up your mind yet? I haven't had time to think about it. I understand. I hope you'll find some reason to the hell of a scar, mate. Longer. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name's Konechkin. Ivan Konechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you had. Who? I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Great grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturge. Grandpa Nikonim, a thaumaturge. I barely remember him. Hmm. Uh, differences regarding methods? We share the same goal. Friend of thaumaturgy. Eat dirt. Right then. Flowers gathered uh, together in a note. Hmm. Some words contain a sea of sadness and longing. The letter was written in trembling hearts. And cannot come to terms with the glass. Okay. More people than I would have guessed came to say farewell to my father. Turns out they had both friends and clearly affected by his death. And enemies who found it exceptionally pleasing. Anything else? Let's have a continued look around the church or the graveyard. Two points out of this, okay. <laughs> How big is the skill tree? Oh, pretty, pretty big. Okay, makes you lose focus instead of taking damage.
Mm. My god, why are my allergies playing up like crazy all of a sudden? Oh, the groundskeeper? Got it. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the rid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? <laughs> Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Yeah. Thank you. And you, sir? Mmm. Hey, so the hyena wife. I don't want to cause problems for her. I can sort it out, but it might cause you some trouble. It's not worth getting your hands dirty over. Get out of here, or I might decide you're attacking an imperial official, and you'll wake up tomorrow in the citadel. All right, that's one way to go about it. Threatening me, judge? A actual is spurring you from him. Would you rather try your luck with a taumaturge? Come oh. on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Sure. Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Mm hmm. Lovely bloody weather. Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grajana, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Okay, no dawdling. Oh, I'll probably Master dawdle. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You looked just like your father in his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Mmm. It makes some cocoa with the sister. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. Right, yeah. The father study for the will reading. Hmm. How's oh, that the cousin? The cousin? I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. How were you doing? Did we shot him? <laughs> Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Heart problems. Interesting. Oh, I'm 
glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. I need to feel this guy has a bit of a drinking problem. Oh, there's a portrait of his mother. Sylvian. Okay, a Bordeaux. Mysterious woman's trace on it. Noir. Oregon? What an unwelcome gift. Hmm. Oh yeah, seemed extra sparky over sparky over there. Hmm. There you go. How did it go? Mission accomplished? I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to and raise a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death, as Stasha and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? Oh. Nope. I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer, but such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking a lull? Oh. Uh. To easy death? I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Pustachio? To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Well. Obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Okay. Uh. At the funeral, there was this sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Do you know him, Uncle? He worked for Stanislav, but that was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. <laughs> so, shall we collect our inheritance? That'll be for us. In a moment. You'll all have to wait for me a moment here. All right, but hurry up. All right, all right. Have some liquor? No. Good.
Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put a point to each of these. Okay. Changed, examine. It's a czar room, I'm guessing. Chance, stop it with uh, the great sir. Wait. Mm. Oh dear, child, stop is with great sir that received news of Stanley's last death. Stop, unfortunately, I'll not be able to attend the funeral ceremony. Stop, my duties in Paris keep me from traveling to Warsaw. I thought the mother was dead, but no, she just left. Okay. Paimon? What is this? Genshin Impact? Within Reach? Um... Okay. Oh, this is from us? Is there anything in here missed? Nope, okay. Guessing this was the dad's room. Mr. Shursky, I only need all of you to be present. Can we start treating your father's will? Hang on, do I have to make sure? Patience was never my father's strong suit, but you'll have to arm yourself with it. Wait a second. Do I have to say to the uncle to come up? Because he's not there. Hold up. How did it go? Where did this? It's... <laughs> yes, let's find out. Let's begin if okay, everyone there we is go. ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of all Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. Yeah, just stay silent. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schulzka. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. 
The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Lydia. I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. A joker to the very end. <laughs> to my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers, dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio. I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Sweet, yeah. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. Oh, the right. Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Interesting. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Lovely. A building, it collapsed on top of him. How? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. Then? We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps, in all that confusion? But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the tarmator just happen to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Hmm. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. Uh, it always comes back. I, I want to be careful with this prideful. I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. How typical of a sort of person to keep a portrait in his study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Nijitsas, and kicked out his son. 
But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abauritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the Grimoire. What do you intend to do? Hmm. And Mordechai Chayat. Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? Hmm. Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. Beth? And where are Father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check that too. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, we've well, got several... Well, that yeah, we know what's parts we can take, sounds out. like. Forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. But I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. I mean, he really wasn't in any condition to be around anyway. Right, okay. Mm, but on that note, that's what I'm going to call it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little stream, or recording actually, as it is. Uh, I will probably, play, I'm definitely playing more of this uh, as soon as I can. We shall see. But if you missed out on anything, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!